more recently, a lot of the talk has been focused around canceling student debt. Now, of course, if you look at the statistics, most women hold a majority of student loans. And it is very much like the Bible says, that women are easily fooled, just like Eve. Eve was easily fooled into the allure, the temptation of what the devil had offered her. And many young women were easily and easily manipulated and fooled into believing that taking on all of this student loan debt would be beneficial for their future. They're going to get educated. Often black women talk about how they're the most educated. It's more like most indoctrinated by the government. And then they become indebted. And just like the Bible says, you know, the borrower is a slave to the lender. And so many women have become slaves to the government. It's funny when you, when you, <laughs> all the women were like, we're not going to be no man slave. They want us in the kitchen, you know, barefoot and pregnant. We're not going to be nobody's slave. And yet here you are, not even a hundred years later, slaves to the government and slaves to banks. And that's how foolish most women are. And that is why for the vast majority of, you look back as far back as you can, men have been responsible for women because women for the most part are nothing but big children. They're just children in adult bodies and they don't, and they often do not like to be held accountable. And that's why they always look for bailouts. This is a perfect example of how women don't like to be personally responsible. No one forced them to take out any of this debt. And of course, when it comes to then paying it off, women don't want to do that. Women are resource based creatures. They require resources to survive, and more importantly, to procreate. Many of these women are single mothers. Look at the statistics 58% of all millennial women are single mothers. 58%. And so all these women require resources. Every time you look at a situation where uh, this person is getting kicked out and it's typically it's a woman and then overwhelmingly it's a single mother look at the, the statistics for people who have been lost losing their jobs there was a recent killing where a, a single mother who divorced her who divorced her husband killed both of her sons this came out recently in the news why because she was being evicted and this is the narrative for most women, and this, will, this is why I say this will be the collapse of the country, because women have no regard for how resources are obtained. They just want those resources. While men, while men understand that they have to build to have whatever it is that they want. Just look at the world around you, the country that was built by men, the cities that were built by men, the buildings that were built by men, the infrastructure that is built by men, the, the sustaining of said infrastructure that is sustained by men look at police military fire right sanitation look at all these jobs overwhelmingly most of the more important jobs are run by men many women don't want to take on said responsibility even though there's been quite the narrative and the push for many women to go into uh, these sort of fields which are typically stem which is which is more like your science, your math, engineering, technology, etc. And many women choose not to go into them. Instead, they'll rather do things like OnlyFans, which is why OnlyFans became so popular. Instead of digging deep and putting in some hard work, women would rather show their body. They would rather uh, what sexualize themselves, up you know, to their own destruction then actually go out and put in some hard work and that's just especially nowadays and this is why i say the welfare in the country primarily led by women's rights is what will collapse america because these women don't want to have kids and if they do want to have kids they want to have these children out of wedlock they do not want to have a man over them and just as equally, they don't want the government over them either. And so this is why the government is seeking ways to how can we control the people further. This is a monster that was created by the government for the purpose of uh, expanding the government. This is how they get you to vote for more government. You give women the right to vote. Now, one of the most important reasons why the government will never uh, cancel student debt is because the student debt, when you look at someone's uh, balance sheet, you have debt or liabilities, and then you have things that are 
assets, right? If you own a business, if you own stocks that pay a dividend, if you have bonds that pay an interest rate, right? If you have anything that pays you, not necessarily a job, but for example, like if, like I said, if you have a business or if you own part of a business, etc., anything of that matter, that becomes an asset on your balance sheet. Now, if you have a mortgage, a car payment, right? Those are liabilities. And so the student loan repayment is a liability to the women, but it's an asset, right? Because it pays an interest rate. So it's an asset to the government. So when the government looks at their their balance sheet and they're like, we got this many liabilities, but we've got this many in terms of assets. The government isn't going to give up student loan. It's an asset to the government because it pays them an interest rate. And even though they may be able to recoup some of the money, there's no way that they're going to discharge all of that debt. One, that debt gets packaged and and collateral uh, sent off and gets sold to investors who, who basically take that and they couple it with other types of debt and then they sell it as a bond and somebody else buys it as a security on the market. But also equally as important is that for them to actually do that, if the government was stupid enough to do that, they would subsequently then have to take all that debt, which is like $1.5 trillion, and throw it on top of the current debt, and that would never get paid off. And the government is not going to do that. It, it is a nice little carrot on a stick for these small brain women to continually strive for and reach at, and the government can use that to get them to vote that the way that they want them to vote. And this is whole, this is the whole point why they do this stuff is because they know that they're never going to do it. But women are easily foolish. So we can just hang that little carrot on a stick out there and try to get them to do what we want them to do. This is why you saw Joe Biden push so heavily for for this because it's it's easily it's an easy way to get women to vote. Women don't think that far into the future. They're not forward thinking individuals. Just look at all their just look at their history. Like, look at the mistakes that women make. Women are easily Women are easily swayed to doing, to, especially what men want. It's very, it's very easy to fool women. And then, of course, they just play the victim afterwards. And I, I don't blame them. You know, their ancestor, Eve, did the exact same thing. When she sinned, what did she do? Did she take personal responsibility? No. She blamed the serpent. It wasn't my fault. It was the serpent. He deceived me. He made me eat. But Adam had a choice. And this is why many men often get very upset with other men when they try to play the victim it's because men don't play that shit when when men try to do what women try to do typically it invokes some sort of anger within many men because many men understand that they are responsible at the at the at the end of the day just look at what happened with ukraine you had all these you know these trans men these dudes that were trying to pretend that they were women and then what happened the moment that there was any sign of a war and they were like oh i'm sorry i identify as a woman they were like motherfucker get to the front line here's your rifle that shit we don't play that shit and they sent all these people they're like oh my god they're being no and no one said a damn thing nobody said a damn thing there was no advocates out there for trans rights the women just shut up and they left and they left their husbands to fight the fight and that is what it is they will keep this around women's neck as long as they can they will never cancel. They might cancel a couple people here. They're not going to cancel the $1.5 trillion. It's just not going to happen. It's just not going to happen. But it is a good way, right? It is a good way to get the masses to vote the way you want. And the women are the majority of voters. Women make up over 52% of all votes. You throw the Simpson and you see why uh, voting is rigged. And this is exactly what the founding fathers did not want. What we have, the system of democracy, is not what the founding fathers wanted. This is not this is not what they wanted. Now, of course, the, what their mindset, their attitudes, of obviously was for personal gain. But you can see why. In our time, you can see why democracy is just, just shit. Because this is what you get. You get ruled by mob. And you get people who are just pushing their own personal agendas. The country could be collapsed. And they were like, I still want my debt paid off. The country's $30 trillion in debt. And we're facing, you know, losing the dollar as a world reserve uh, because of the government weaponizing the dollar against other countries. And the women will still be like, yeah, but are you going to pay my debt off? Are you going to pay my student loan debt off? And it's just like, this is why it's funny when you look at 
places that have experienced this sort of collapse like you just look at venezuela look at uh, cuba right look at places like greece what happens to most of the women if you've never been to places like colombia or if you haven't gone to places where many of these venezuelan women have have moved to overwhelmingly most of these women become prostitutes and it's just what women know how to do best. That's why OnlyFans was so popular. That's why things like Ashley Madison or Seeking or Seeking Arrangement. It's why all these things are so popular. Because at the end of the day, what will women do? They'll throw themselves up on the, on the sexual market. And pray to get taken care of by some, by some man, by any man, when the collapse comes. And that's what typically awaits many of these women. They have no qualms about being, you know, a fourth or a fifth or a sixth to a a well-to-do man they're not going to go out there and shoulder their rifle they're not going to go out there and build infrastructure it's just not going to happen it is what it is gentlemen this is why the red pill is so strong today and trying to educate mo most you know trying to educate young men about staying away from most westernized women because this is who they are and as, as i've always advocated generate wealth in these countries and move Move to another country. If your desire is for uh, having a family, under no circumstances should you do that in any westernized country. You should take your wealth and move to a second or third world country. But many men don't want to do that because it's more dangerous. But that, that is what it's like living in a patriarchal lifestyle. When you live in patriarchal countries, they are typically more violent. That's why women needed men in the first place is because there was more danger. And if you're not that type of man who is willing to take on that level of responsibility, then maybe that life is for you. Maybe this is the life that is meant for you. A life basically where their daddy government is in charge and you're just there for the resources. Anyway, I'm going to leave it there. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.